Competition in real estate, it's not as tough as you think. Coming up. What's up guys, Steve with Steve Invest, helping real estate agents, brokers, grow their businesses with a path toward financial freedom. Man, it is a beautiful October day. I wanna bring you guys with me and we'll talk about the competition in real estate. Hey guys, make sure you watch this video all the way through. I'm gonna go through the top three target markets that virtually no other real estate agent is going after. So you're gonna to wanna to stick around for that. Hopefully the wind's not too bad. If it is, I apologize. Let's talk about competition. I think competition is more all in people's minds and mindset. And I think people look at competition and they get afraid of it. They get nervous. They they look at these people and they say, I never, I can never do this. I can never be that person. I can never sell a hundred homes. I can never list a $20 million property. And it's those things that keep you back. It's those things that hold you back. Now the competition, if you look at the co real competition in real estate, you know, 10% of real estate agents are making 90% of the commissions. It, it's your mindset. It's what you're feeding into your head. So if you're gonna allow the competition to kind of mind screw you, then that's on you. But I can tell you in real estate, if you're putting your head down, you're working every day, you're knowing what your competition is doing, maybe you're learning about your competition and what they're doing so you can utilize some of their tips and tricks, that's fine. But if you're utilizing competition as a, as a crutch, that's really not gonna help you in your real estate business. And I can tell you, one way to compete and even crush your competition is previous video, and I'll put a link for that, is being consistent in the business. Now, I personally think that there's three good niche target markets that majority real estate agents are not touching. So, if you really do not want any competition going after a specific niche target market, try one of these three things but don't do it unless you're going to commit to it don't do it unless you're going to go all in and all in i mean simply put two to three hours say every morning or whatever time period you're most energetic to put into prospecting for these three different target markets and by the way i don't know if you guys like this kind of scenery when i'm doing these shots hit the like button comment below just so i know and uh, if it is appealing, I'll do more shots outside on the beaches. Niche number one, dusty expires. These are expired listings that majority of real estate agents have given up on calling. What I mean is most real estate agents, even myself in the past, we would call the most recent expired listings. That's where the most action, the most activity, that's where the most competition is gonna take place. So if you go after dusty expires, these are expires three to six months old, and, um, and pull up on your local MLS, and I'll do a little shot for you guys right now. My local MLS, we're gonna pull expires. This is gonna be for all types of property, single family, condo. Uh, coach homes, etc. We're gonna go expired. We're gonna do 90 to 180 days. That's three to six months. And uh, as you can see, there's 3,559 matches. And if you pull these listings up, scrub the list, and start calling them, I can almost guarantee that no other real estate agent is calling these listings. So this is a great target market to start making contact. Now you can cold call. You can use a system like Red X. Um, I'll put a link down below for you guys as well. It's an affiliate link, but it will knock off the initial wave, uh, initial fee of $149. And uh, anyway, I'll put that link down below. I'll give you the phone numbers for expired listings. But you can also door knock, and door knock is very effective. So if you know that these people are, um, are, are not an absentee owner, Okay, and you know they're living in the property. It's an ideal time to go and knock on these doors. Number two are terminated listings. Now what a terminated listing is, is a seller who previously had it on the market with a real estate agent decided they no longer want to sell it for whatever reason. Now you can do fresh ones, terminated listings that are, that are recent, recently terminated, but I recommend going back a couple months same thing with the dusty expireds and 
going and researching these terminated listings. They no longer have an active listing agreement with that pre previous real estate agent. So it's open game for you guys. Cold call them or door knock, same thing. Also, I'm gonna put a link down below for uh, some scripts that you guys can use. If, if you're calling on older terminated or older expired, these people are less likely to, uh, to be kind of pissed off when you're calling because again, most likely nobody else is calling these. And the third one that I personally love are contacting owners of multifamily properties. So this can be duplexes, triplexes, whatever, usually small to medium multifamily properties. Call on these guys and it's kind of two pronged. You wanna find out if they're interested in possibly selling and if they're not, odds are they're real estate investors, they like cash flow properties, then you could possibly be their agent to find them more properties. So what I suggest with this is contacting these people, finding out what their deal is over the phone, and if they're local, try to get a face-to-face, -face, take them out to lunch or coffee, and see what you can do to help grow their portfolio. Guys, remember, competition is in your head. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, hit the little bell notification for all future videos coming out. I appreciate the support. Take care.